Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so I'm in Lightroom right now and I've selected about what, 12 photos um, from a shoot I did last week. I did a behind the scenes um, as well. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but you can check the link in the description for that. And I've picked out uh, 12 images normally when I do a test shoot I would like do four images or maybe six uh, That I would actually work on yeah, so these are the ones that I've picked from the session So I'm going to go ahead and retouch a few of them I don't think I'll be doing more than one in this video, but yeah, so let me see which one I want to work on No, I think I like this one so Control e to bring it over to um, photoshop and as you can see the settings let me show you the settings again real quick so i was shooting with the sony a7 III camera uh, as you can see my shutter speed right there and i was shooting at 1.8 iso 320 i was shooting with a 50 millimeter lens all right so i was also shooting natural light so yeah let's get right to the editing let me quickly go back to photoshop good all right so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to zoom up the image and i'm going to remove all the blemishes from the model's skin she was not wearing any makeup i'm going to press j on the keyboard for the patch tool i'm just going to make a selection for the blemishes and remove them we wanted to go with a natural look so that's one of the reasons why she was not wearing any makeup so yeah so all I'm doing now is just to remove the blemishes from the model's skin all right good so I don't think I need to remove anything else. The second thing I'm going to do now is to create a new layer. And then the third is to crop the image. I'm going to use C, which is the crop shortcut for the crop tool. Ensure that it's four to five ratio. So when I upload to Instagram, it fills the entire page. All right, so four to five. Then I'm just going to use the, wait. I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit like right here good then enter all right so I'm create a background all right so now I'm gonna do um, frequent separation so I'm gonna come here Click on the frequent separation action. I'm going to leave the radius at 6.4. And my flow, well, let me press M for my mixer brush. Uh, I'm going to have this at 45, the weight at 45, because I want it to have a drastic, you know, adjustment. I'm going to come down here to the low frequency layer, and then I'm just going to paint. So I'm going to start with her face. So I'm just going to make it smaller. And all I'm doing is flattening the image, basically. Alright, I'm going to get my patch tool and I'm just going to remove this dark area right here. Or fade it out a little bit. So I want everything to become one. I'm going back down to the low frequency layer. Press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. And do the same thing again, just brush. So all I'm doing is trying to flatten the image. I'm trying to bring everything together. So before, after. All right, not all the time you're gonna have a makeup artist, so you know, you have to just do what you have to do. And not every model, you know, like the idea of makeup or want to learn how to do the makeup, you know. But I'll encourage any woman that likes to do photo shoot to actually learn to do their own makeup, you know. So it's, 
we won't have to worry about getting a makeup artist for the shoot but if you don't like makeup that much well that's totally fine alright so all I'm doing is to just brush I think I need to adjust this a little bit, so I'm gonna lower the brush size. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna start with the highlighted area, then I'm gonna come over here to the next side, and then here. Let's look at the before and after for everything. So, it's the before, that's the after. All right, so I'm not sure if I like right here, so I'm gonna fix that. So I'm just gonna create a mask. So I'm just gonna click on the mask tool right here. And then I'm gonna ensure that the foreground is black. Then I'm gonna get my brush, change my brush to 38. And then I'm just gonna brush back in the, what was there before. Good. Then I'm gonna create a new layer. Still on the brush, but I'm gonna change the flow to 1%. Then I'm gonna take a sample of this area right here. And then I'm just gonna brush it here. Just lightly brush it in. Right, this looks more realistic. Good. I like that. Perfect. All right, I'm going to do some dodge and burning now. So I'm going to go over to dodge first. Still on the mixer brush at 1%. And I'm just going to brush, highlight these areas here. Wait, have to change this to white. Highlight the nose. I like the chin. I'm gonna come down to the model's arm and highlight it as well. Basically highlighting where the light, the natural light would hit. Alright, I think I'm done. I think I'm okay with that so let's look at the before and after for everything so before after the next thing now I'm gonna do some color grading so I'm gonna create a new layer Control shift alt E Control J then I'm gonna go to camera raw and I'm not sure if you guys have seen the presets that I've created but I'm gonna try to use one right now so this is one of the presets I've created. This is another, and this is another. I'm gonna use this one, but I'm gonna fine tune it a little bit. I'm gonna come up to the top here. Oh, you can check the link in the description for that as well. These are some other, um, what do they call it? Presets that Photoshop has. I can actually combine it with my preset. Not, I don't think I like any of them. But I'm just going to brighten the image a little bit. I'm going to come over here to the edit section. Then I'm just going to make some little adjustments to, let me see, white and highlight. Because I want to ensure that the shoes is highlighted, is um, exposed properly. Alright, I think I like this. Let me look at the before and after. This looks good. I think I want to add a little um, contrast. Maybe about four, should be okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Um, I'm gonna press okay now, good. So I don't think I need to do anything else. Let me try, uh, well, before, after. So let me try color lookup. 
I lower the opacity to about 12. Let me see if I can find. I think I like this one. 12. I'm gonna brighten the image a little bit more, so I'm gonna come to curve. Brighten it up a little bit, so that's it. Yeah, I think I like this. Right, so that is the result. Let's see if I can do another before and after real quick. arrange vertical up good so now for this image i'm gonna come here hold on an alt and press the background image so yeah that's the before and after so hope you guys enjoy this video and um, hopefully next week i can do another behind the scenes so you guys can see it so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye